Oh, hello, my name is Aaron Spitalski. I work for Idaho Fish and Game. I'm currently the manager of Andrus Wildlife Management Area. It's approximately 24,000 acres of land that we manage for wildlife, specifically winter range for elk and mule deer. We also have uh, a large segment of the population who comes here and hunts for upland game, such as chucker and hung Hungarian partridge, and some quail. And Aaron, can you give us uh, just a little bit of the history of the WMA? How did it get started? How did the fishing game uh, get this land? Okay, approximately we acquired the property through uh, the Mellon Foundation in approximately 1993. Um, and we've uh, managed, managed it uh, mainly as a winter range since then. Um, so uh, we're here with the Chuck Chaser Foundation uh, Idaho chapter and we came out today with about 20, 25 volunteers and we're doing some planting and you can probably hear some background noise. We're, we're lucky to have a few kids out with us today. Uh, Aaron, can you tell us just a little bit about how uh, specifically planting bitter brush and, and the four wing will improve wildlife habitat and uh, help with the post fire restoration work? Yes, um, so September last year, 2020, Labor Day, uh, the Woodhead Fire, which grew to approximately 96,000 acres started in the vicinity of Andrews Wildlife Management Area. So we, about approximately 5,300 acres burned on the WMA. Um, it took a lot of our shrub component, which was bitter brush, uh, rabbit brush, sagebrush, and other shrubs that uh, elk and um, mule deer rely on in the winter for, for forage. Um, this planting today, as you can see behind me, we, this is a patch of bitter brush that burned in the fire and by planting bitter brush and forming salt bush, we're helping to jumpstart nature's rehab of the area. Because it's gonna take decades for our shrub component to come back. I'm very, uh, very happy to see that we have a lot of grasses come back and a lot of forbs come back this year, but the shrubs are gonna need a little help. And so the, specifically to the bitter brush, how does that specifically help chucker? Do they eat it? Does it provide habitat, cover? Just maybe you could explain a little bit of that. For chucker and upland game birds, uh, as it grows, it does provide uh, a lot of cover from predators. And also it provides a, uh, like a micro habitat, which they utilize for brood rearing and for nesting. So Excellent. while it's main, it will benefit elk and mule deer, it'll also benefit upland game birds such as chucker and Hungarian partridge. Nice, nice. So if you could give uh, one hint for somebody that's coming to the WMA, just one, one word of advice to a chucker hunter who hasn't hunted here before, what would it be? Uh, be prepared to walk. And everything here is up and down. There's hardly any flat. So be prepared for a good walk and, and for a good time. Nice. Excellent. Well, thanks. And we uh, from the Chucker Chasers really appreciate the opportunity to come out today. And you've been an awesome host and you got a beautiful piece of land here. And we just really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I, I am appreciated too. It's good to see a group come out with a whole spectrum of people. We have kids out here, we have families and hunters alike. So I really appreciate that. And it's really nice to see that. Nice. Thank you, Aaron. I'm feeling good, the sun is shining, I knew it would, the world's a playground, I'm in the clouds, let me show you what it's all about, check it out. It's what I do. The party's starting. It's going down. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out.
check me out.